footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, here at MetLife Stadium, where the New York Giants played host to the Los Angeles Rams, and the Rams came away victorious by the score of 51-17. to Now, let's take a look at some first-half offensive takeaways for the New York Giants. To be quite honest, I thought they had a lot of success running football early against the Rams, especially on their right side. They found something within their defense, and they were able to exploit. The passing game, however, wasn't where it needed to be, and that is what really curtailed their offensive hopes early in this ball game. First half defensive takeaways for the Giants. I thought the interior of that defensive line, Snacks Harrison, you also look at the rookie Delvin Tomlinson, even the two defensive ends, Avery Moss, another rookie, and also JPP they did a great job versus the run. Outside of the first series where the Rams had some success on the left side of that defensive line, the Giants' defensive front really came to play as far as stopping the run. However, on the back end is where they had some issues. The back seven with all of the injuries and the new players in the lineup, they didn't have that communication or the continuity to have some success defending the Rams' pass, whether it was intermediate or deep down the field. And the Rams really took advantage of that, building a very early lead in the first half. Looking at some first-half offensive takeaways for the Los Angeles Rams, one thing that was very impressive was Jared Goff's pocket presence. This guy stood tall in the pocket, was able to find guys deep down the field. One player in particular on this end of the field, he waited until the crosser, the over route cleared, to hit Sammy Watkins deep down the field. That was a big play in the game. I thought it was a turning point in the game outside of the quick pass to Robert Woods on third and 34 where he took it 52 yards for a touchdown. So early in the first half, I was very impressed with Jared Goff's ability to stand tall, read the defense, and deliver balls at the intermediate level and also at the deep level, which was a big question I had coming into this ball game. First half defensive takeaways for the Los Angeles Rams. Quite honestly, their run defense is a bit questionable to be honest. On the back end, I thought they did a great job taking away the Giants' only two options in the passing game in tight end Evan Ingram and also wide receiver Sterling Shepard, who was making his first return back to the field. But I thought defensively in the secondary is where you had to be very impressed with what the Rams were able to do against this Giants' offensive attack. Moving on to the second half offensive takeaways for the New York Giants. To be quite honest, there wasn't much that they could do in that second half. Inconsistencies, drop passes, turnovers, all of which played the Giants in the second half against the Rams. Defensively, when you keep putting a defense out on the field in bad situations, they're going to give up yards, they're going to give up touchdowns, and that happened once again in the second half for this Giants defense. Second half offensive takeaways for the Rams. They picked up right where they left off in the first half. Jared Goff working touchdown to check down. Their running game still wasn't where it needed to be. They didn't have a lot of success running football today, but they didn't need to because their passing game was really flourishing against the Giants secondary. Second half defensive takeaways for the Rams. This is where they really stepped up. You saw tighter coverage on the outside of those wide receivers by their cornerbacks. Their safeties start to take things away deep down the field and really shorten that, that Giants passing game. I thought that's where they had a ton of success defensively, and I thought they did a really good job against the Giants in the second half. Offensive player of the game for the New York Giants. I'm going to give it to Tavares King. He's a guy that scored a touchdown, and you like to see good things happen to good people, and he was rewarded today with a touchdown reception on that end of the field right there. Defensive player of the game for the New York Giants. I'm going to give it to that defensive line versus the run. Snacks Harrison, Avery Moss, JPP, and also the rookie Delvin Thompson did a great job sort of curtailing uh, the Rams running back Todd Gurley. So I thought the run defense was the only bright spot today for the Giants. Offensive player of the game for the Los Angeles Rams. We're going to go ahead on and give it to quarterback Jared Goff for, for what he was able to do in this weather against this defense and was able to stand tall and hit guys deep down the field. Four touchdown passes on the day en route to 51 points being scored on Big Blue. Defensive player of the game, I'm going to give it to the entire Rams secondary. I know I, I tend to take the cop out by giving it to entire units, but their secondary really played well. They didn't allow the Giants to have any success throwing the football and really shut them down and made them a one-dimensional approach en route to a victory. So that's a wrap here from MetLife Stadium. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at FBallGamePlan. And for all of our NFL content, visit the website, footballgameplan.com slash NFL.